was that it is same for all of us. In fact, if I start looking at myself right, in my activity, you know, if I look, start looking at this natural acceptance which is there in me, right, this revelation comes, this revelation comes, this revelation comes, right. All this is coming out of my own self-investigation, self-exploration. Right? And each one of us is doing it ourselves. In that sense, the process is very subjective. But when it comes to the results, the results are very objective, <coughs> very universal. So, this we are doing each one of us, but the results which we are getting is universal, right? It's objective. <coughs> this is the minimum content of respect. You can see whether we have been able to see even this much till now. <coughs> Are we treating the others like yourself, like me? Or we are focusing all our attention <coughs> to prove that you are not like the others. <laughs> you are exclusive. Everything. You are trying to accept the other like you or you are trying to prove <coughs> right, that the other is not like you. So your clothes, your house, your car, right, all this, you know, you are using to show that you are not like the other. <laughs> This is understood that the other is like me. Then the life becomes very simple. This is the minimum content of respect for a human being. It was with this respect that we started all our discussion, saying that. All that I need to do is to draw your attention towards some proposal. You don't take them to be true. <coughs> Look into them. Verify it on your own life. Right? Pass it through your self-verification. Pass it through your natural acceptance. Right? So if I know that you have the same natural acceptance as I have, then instead of I telling you what is right, I can pass it on to you as a proposal. And let you verify it on the basis of your natural acceptance. The results are going to be same. So it is with that feeling of respect for each one of us that we started this workshop. That's the way we are proceeding. So every time I am leaving it for you to decide. To ask the same question, your own natural acceptance. And verify it whether it is right for you, not right for you. <coughs> so, so, actually, I don't know whether this, this is the right time for me to raise this question or not. But uh, if I don't raise this question, it's always lingering in my mind and I'm unable to concentrate on the subject matter you're presently discussing with. And uh, for having undergone this workshop, for us, two and a half days, not three and a half days for me. I, have, I could not attend the first day. For having undergone uh, this workshop for two and a half days, I realized that I found some of uh, some flaws in the government system, in the production theory, in the management theory, in the 
consumption theory, in the marketing theory, and many others, and in, in many other fields and areas. So again, I'm in dilemma whether to be with the existing system or to switch on to human values and professional ethics. So if I follow the latter one, is there any rule of thumb for you? I would like to listen for some recommendations and suggestions from you. Yeah, the rule of thumb is very simple. <laughs> <laughs> the first rule is that start working with your <laughs> Important, you know, because everybody will face this problem. And we are discussing about this in the previous session also. When you are working with yourself, there is no problem. <coughs> then, when you have worked with yourself, work with your relationship with the family, right? There will be no problem. Work with your relationship in the workplace, there will be no problem. So these are the two areas where you can comfortably work. Working with yourself, sorting out within your own self all this business, right? What we have accumulated at preconditioning has to be sorted out first. You have to ensure the right understanding and the right feeling in yourself. That is a major task. If that is, hap that is happening, then work with the relationship. If I am behaving properly with somebody, nobody will object to it. Whether in family or in workplace. These two areas are very safe. You can start working there. Even working in community, at the level of relationship is not a problem. The problem comes more when you start contradicting others, right? Or this series on things like, you know, these practices. <coughs> to that, I was mentioning yesterday that, <coughs> for example, this theory, you know, theory of management, whether it is management by relationship, management by opposition. If I, now it is clear to me that it is management by relationship which is human, then what do I do with these students? Do I teach them this? Or do I teach them this theory of management by opposition? I, for one, will give him both the options. Right? That this is one theory, this is another theory. Right? Now you look into yourself and verify which one is true for you. And I will also tell him that the examiner who is going to evaluate you will evaluate on the basis of the first theory. <laughs> So I will make all this clear to the child, no, the student. Right? So, on the one hand, he will have the right idea of what you know, is the management, you know, when, why. And he will also be able to write whatever answer is desirable in terms of the existing system. <coughs> but then, I must be very clear that it is the management by relationship mm -hmm. which is true. And then I must start doing the management by relationship. The beautiful thing about this is that if you start doing what is right, there is no opposition for what is right. The mistake that we do is we try opposing what is not right. right. I'm saying we don't do that. Like I'm not talking about what is wrong in you. Am I talking about it? The last three days? No. Right? I am talking about what is right. <coughs> talking about what is right with a feeling of trust, with a feeling of respect, right? with a feeling of affection. And nobody has problem with it. And if somebody is feeling very agitated, very upset, right? He is asking it in the form of a question rather than getting unhappy about it, you know, questioning in a state. So, if I work on what is right, it is not a problem. The problem comes when I try to oppose what is not right. Okay? Without ensuring the relationship. First, have clarity in yourself, then start working with relationship. Right? 
then slowly we can sort out all these issues together, you know, in relation. So it is not going to create too much of contradiction in you if you are trying to work with yourself and this relationship. Then slowly you will find, you know, how to work with all these issues, you know, how to take care of them. Because when you work with yourself and with the relationship, you immediately realize the other person is also wanting the same thing as you are wanting. Like this work we are doing, eight months in Bhutan. We have come to realize that yes, everybody is wanting to do this. On the other hand, if I started saying that everything in Bhutan is going wrong, you know, stop it, you know, it's like that. Then make it out of opposition because I started with opposition. <laughs> so it is not going to be much of a problem. If I start with right understanding in myself and then with right fulfillment in relationship, if that happens, then we together can start solving the problem, all these issues. So you don't have to hurry, you don't have to jump. On it. We have to slowly start unfolding right? our own self, then our relationship. Uh, yeah. uh, with regard to the leveling of uh, disrespect, so only two, which is uh, under evaluation and otherwise evaluation, uh, I can uh, assume that. It can be applied in all uh, type of scenarios, but when it comes to over evaluation, uh, I am finding it dis difficult to apply in uh, some aspects of our life. Uh, because we live in two different realms. One is the real realistic world or factual world, where we can uh, we can apply this. That if you over evaluate, it will be disrespectful. But other one is. Uh, in a world which is full of emotion, too, where this reality doesn't really exist too much, then you are expected to do something different. So I'm thinking about in me, myself, with my wife in an anniversary, and then for a dinner, and then with full of romantic atmosphere when we are there over a dinner table, then uh, she dressed up, and then made with some makeup, and then she wanted, she asked me, how do I look? Uh -huh. Oh, you look better. No, over your relation. Now it's okay. Oh, you look better. Uh, she wouldn't take it that positively. So I think it would be some sort of like a disrespect. But uh, what she would expect from me is, yes, you are very beautiful, most beautiful girl I've ever seen in the world. <laughs> then that is what she would expect. But again, if she has undergone this course, then she would again get angry and say, you're just respecting me, you're a good girl. <laughs> then I'm thinking, okay, uh, if you, she has undergone this course, so maybe, uh, and then she would perhaps say, see, you, you haven't seen most of the girls in the world and you're saying I'm the most beautiful. That's not realistic. You're over your relationship. But then I think, okay, now she has undergone this course, she knows about the over evaluation, yeah. and maybe I tell her the fact. If I rate in the girls in the world from 1 to 10, you 4, 7, 5, 6, I think the dinner plate will rush towards my face. I think it will fly on my face. I'm just wondering, you know, in some cases like emotional, where emotions are involved, uh, I don't know how we can apply this over evaluation. Yeah, in fact, one great mistake that is being done there is that you are evaluating the other person on the basis of the body. <laughs> <laughs> and you are evaluating the other person on the basis of the body, not on the basis of self. That is something that is <laughs> Coming back to the question that uh, he was raising, uh, uh, my, uh, my point of view, it is always to do with the intention. You have a good intention, with a love, 
the genuine feelings, your overall evaluating, under evaluating, or otherwise, it will be all directed by the intention and then the genuineness that we express. This is what I think. <coughs> So this, you know, responding to your question first. So first problem is that we are evaluating on the basis of what? And the problem with this is that if you start evaluating on the basis of the body, right, it will create a whole lot of work. And the fact that she has to do so much of makeup and so there's a is an indicator of the fact that you don't respect her at all. <laughs> <laughs> but if I do it otherwise even, right? Then so much of makeup may not be required at all. Right? <coughs> on the other hand, if you are doing it on the basis of the body, the other is always insecure about. The other will always stay insecure. This is a story about Mila Nathitin. Lot of stories. Very interesting story. They are all indicative of the way we think and do. So, this Mulla is in fallen in love with a girl. Fallen, not standing in love. <laughs> <laughs> so, he, this girl asked him that, Mullah, will you continue to love like me like this even when I get, you know, 50 years old and there are wrinkles in my face? Right? Mullah said, let's cancel this man. <laughs> he said, why? He said, I didn't know that this thing would happen. Right? So, if there is going to be wrinkles in your face at the age of 50, then let's not marry now. Mm -hmm. So if you are doing evaluation on the basis of this phase, right, you are already in this right? And that is why you have to do so much of effort, you know, trying to make people feel that you don't have wrinkles, if you are developed, right? 10,000 rupees a kg is a screen. <laughs> why are you buying that? <laughs> Because you don't feel secure that you will continue to get this respect if your body gets degenerated. Which is bound to take place. Right? So what is happening is most of these things which we have you know, designed in our day-to-day uh, you know, -day life in the whole system is based on certain things which do not have that permanence. And what you want is the permanence, right? the continuity. If you base something which is not based on, you know, something which is in your nature, you are bound to get into trouble. So if you are doing that, using that as the basis, then lot of these problems will be present. He has to, you know, make effort to show that he is the most beautiful, and then you have to appreciate. No, that she is indeed the most beautiful thing, which she is not. <laughs> then you will get into trouble and she will also get into trouble. If this was the basis, okay, and if you were able to appreciate her like yourself, there was no problem. Then she doesn't have to come back, you know, dressing her in different colors and dresses. This happens in this workshop. What Lantoji was telling me, watching the experience in the Hyderabad workshop. Most of the people, when they come for the first day, you know, for the workshop, they are dressed very young, and everything. They expect that you can be more comfortable. By fourth day, everybody is very comfortable. They don't have to dress because they want to draw the attention of the other. Right? You are getting the attention even otherwise. <laughs> so you become very normal. <laughs> this dressing exclusively is trying to get the attention of the other, which is an indicative of the fact that the other is not paying attention otherwise. <laughs> when 
many of these things slowly, you know, will get resolved. Okay, so what I would do is, now, these are the three things, on the basis of which, if you look at the other, you would find that the other is like this. Now, I will just pose this question. Today, what we are trying to do? We are trying to accept the other like me, or you are trying to differentiate. You are trying to make differentiation. Differentiation on the basis of body, on the basis of physical facility, on the basis of your belief, what do you do? You are trying to differentiate in the name of respect or accept the other like yourself. Differentiating on the basis of body, on the basis of physical density, on the basis of belief. For example, you have this belief that you, know, you must respect elders. What about the elders? <laughs> Respect ended or not? So that would mean respect everyone. Right? So this differentiation in the name of respect on the basis of the age is leading to disrespect. And this starts reflecting in your behavior. Like when you are calling a you know child, you say, Come here. It is respecting, disrespecting. The child is very unhappy about it. Okay? He is hurt. He comes because he thinks that if he does not come, then there will be more damage. Right? <laughs> so just think. You know, we will discuss about this after this lunch. Are we accepting the other like me? Are we trying to differentiate in the name of respect? And if this is differentiation, it will lead to disrespect. So what we are doing today in the name of respect is ultimately leading to disrespect. Right? Whether it is in the form of age or it is in the form of gender, sex, or it is in the form of race, or it is in the form of physical strength. These are the basis of your respect and all of them are leading to differentiation and ultimately all of them are leading to disrespect. Similarly, your wealth, differentiation on the basis of wealth, differentiation on the basis of position, all these are the basis of respect which are essentially differentiation, which are essentially leading to disrespect. Then, there are different sets and there are different isms. These are the basis of your respect. And they all lead to differentiation. And therefore they all lead to disrespect. And therefore there is a you know, lot of movement going on against each one of them. That we see. In the meantime you verify whether you are going with this or you are going with this. In the name of respect you are doing this or this. And that has become a sex. 
So, so get to this, you know, get break for lunch and discuss about this in the session after the lunch.